In this video, we are going to study normality in error term with QQplot and Harkevera test in Python using Jupyter Notebook. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, there's an educational video only and no professional advice is included within it. Okay, so let's go into the web browser where the Jupyter Notebook is located. So the first step within the video regarding this Jupyter Notebook is that we need to add a new cell below. To add the new cell, we click on the insert cell below button. And the first step regarding the code is we need to import the corresponding packages. Therefore, we comment this as step one, which is packages. And for this video, we're going to import statsmodels.api as sm. We're importing that feature from statsmodels for data downloading and qqplot. Then we're going to import statsmodels.formula dot api as smf we're importing that feature from stats models for multiple linear regression calculation then we're going to import stats models dot stats dot api as sms and we're importing that feature from stats models for harkevera test then we're going to import scipy dot stats as st and we're importing that feature from SciPy for the normal distribution. And last, we're going to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt, and we're importing that feature from matplotlib for the qqplot chart. To run these code lines or this cell, we can either click run or press shift enter on the keyboard. Then we continue with step number two, which is the data. For data, we're going to create an object named house prices underscore object, which is equal to SM feature from stats models dot datasets dot get underscore r dataset, and we open parentheses. The first parameter, which is data name, equals to and within quotations house prices, comma package equals to and within quotations AER, comma cash equals to true. So what we're doing here is we're downloading house prices object from our package AER and with cache equals to true means that once we download the data, it saves it locally. So we don't need to go and download it again every time we run the code. Notice that this will download data and documentation within house prices object. Therefore, at the following row, we create a new object named house prices with only the data, therefore equals to house prices underscore object and we get its dot data attribute. So let's go ahead and visualize part of this data. We do so with the following code line, which is print, and within parentheses we have house prices dot ILOZ or integer location. We open brackets, semicolons, all the rows from columns zero to three with Python notation. Therefore, we're going to print the first three columns of data, and we get its dot head method. Open and close parentheses. So to run this code lines or this cell, we press Shift Enter on the keyboard, and we see that we printed part of the data frame the first five rows and the first three columns of data of price, lot size, and bedrooms. The reason for this is that we're going to fit a multiple linear regression in which price is the dependent or explained variable, which is being explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size and bedrooms. If you want to read the full documentation of this data, you can do so with the following code line, which is print and from house prices underscore object, we get its dot two underscores doc two underscores attribute with the documentation and we press shift enter on the keyboard to run the code line and we can see the full documentation. So then we continue with step number three which is the model. For this we're going to create an object named MLR which stands for multiple linear regression therefore equals to SMF feature from statsmodels.ols which is ordinary least squares function and within parentheses we have the following parameters formula equals to and within quotations because this is a string we have price as a dependent or explained variable as mentioned previously this special character means explained by the independent or explanatory variables of lot size plus bedrooms comma data equals to the house house prices object we created above and then we fit this regression open and close parentheses and what we do here is we press shift enter on the keyboard directly 
And then we continue with step number four, which is normality. So before going and coding both the QQ plot and Harkebera test, we are going to create a new object, which is RES, that is going to include the residuals from the previously fitted MLR regression. Therefore, equals to MLR dot RESID. That's how we get its residuals. And we press Shift Enter on the keyboard. So then we're going to continue with the first of the corresponding normality tests. Therefore, we're going to do a QQ plot, QQ plot, QQ, which stands for quantile to quantile plot. And to code it, we have first FIG figure equals to, we'll be using SM feature from stats models dot QQ plot. We open parentheses and the following parameters. Data equals to RES object, the one we just created. Line equals to Q within quotations. And dist equals to ST dot norm. So as mentioned previously, we're going to do a QQ plot for the residuals and with line equals to Q means that we will have a quantiles regression line fit from probability 25% to probability 75%. And as mentioned, it's going to be a normal QQ plot. That's why we're including as distribution the normal distribution. Then we add plt.title to this chart, which is going to be, and within parentheses, within quotations, normal Q, Q plot. And last we have plt.show and we have open and close parentheses. So let's go ahead and run this code lines or this cell by pressing shift enter on the keyboard and we'll briefly visualize the QQ plot. So as we can see, we have, as the title mentions, a normal QQ plot. On the vertical axis, we have the sample quantiles. On the horizontal axis, we have the theoretical quantiles, the relationship as the blue colored points. And on top of them, as an overlay colored in red, we have the quantiles regression line fit. So this QQ plot is a visual test whether points are within quantiles regression line fit. If points are outside quantiles regression line fit, linear regression errors are assumed non-normal. If points are within quantiles regression line fit, linear regression errors are assumed normal. So now we're going to continue with Harkebera test. So we comment this Harkebera test. And to code it, we're going to create an object named JB test equals to, and we'll be using SMS feature from stats models dot Harke underscore beta and within parentheses the object with the residuals, therefore RES. And at the following code line, what we do is we're going to print its results, therefore we have print and we have first within quotations JB for the test statistic, comma, which is found at JB test object. Position zero with Python notation, therefore the first position, comma. Also within quotations, we would have the JB test statistic p value. And this is found at JB test position one with Python notation, therefore the second position. So let's go ahead and run this code lines by pressing Shift Enter on the keyboard, and we see the results being printed below. First for JB test statistic, and then for JB test statistic p value. This JB or Harkebera test statistic p-value is a chi-square test with the joint null hypothesis that residual skewness and excess kurtosis are equal to zero. If rejected, linear regression errors are assumed non-normal. If not rejected, linear regression errors are assumed normal. Okay, so with this we finish with the code file, so we go ahead and save it. And with this we also finish with this video. Thank you for watching.